Well, hey gang, uh, I've been asked to talk a little bit about why female athletes have such a higher incidence of ACL injuries than their male counterparts. Uh, today I thought we'd just talk a little bit about uh, some of the anatomical reasons about why this may occur. Uh, I've been blessed to be uh, the head team doc for the U.S. ski team for about 20 years for the females. Um, and so unfortunately I've had a lot of experience with, uh, with women hurting their knees. Uh, the biggest reasons uh, that we seem to find over and over again, number one is uh, women are built a little bit more knock kneed than guys are. Uh, so just by virtue of just the way they stand, they tend to be putting their ACL on a little bit more stretch or a little bit more tension than guys are. Uh, just that anatomical fact puts them at a higher risk. The second thing that happens inside the knee, there's a little notch where the ACL runs. That seems to be a little bit narrower in women than in guys and that seems to pinch or crimp the ACL and put it at risk once it's on tension and they uh, fall or land or twist. Uh, the third thing is that the women have a little bit more hyperlaxity in general and we all know that. Uh, the women can hyperextend their elbows or dislocate their shoulders or hyperextend their knees better than the guys do. That hyperlaxity seems to protect us from arthritis down the line. Unfortunately it puts it at a higher risk for uh, knee ligament tears, and in particular the ACL in women. Uh, so when you combine the anatomical factors of valgus knees or being more knock kneed, the narrow notch that they're born with, uh, as, uh, as well as just some of the uh, uh, hyperlaxity profile that all the women seem to have, or a, lot, a much higher percentage anyway, uh, that adds up to higher ACL injury rates. Uh, I hope that helps to understand a little bit of it. This is your Sports Medicine Minute, and uh, I hope that uh, helped you a little bit.